Have you ever tried playing a game and realized that your PS5 registers inputs a few milliseconds after you press a button and this is despite of you having a good internet connection? This is called input lag or input delay. And the reason why this occurs is because if you're playing a game wirelessly on your PS5, you have a latency issue where every single input you make on your controller is gonna have an input delay because you're trying to transfer signals wirelessly, which is not the best option if you're playing a competitive game like Fortnite on your PS5. Now you might think that connecting your controller with a USB cable would do the job, but there are a few more steps that you need to do in order to fully get rid of any kind of input delay on your PS5. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to settings, then go on to system, find HDMI, and then turn ALLM to automatic. This is going to allow your TV to minimize any input delays. Once this is done, go back and then head over to accessories. Now if you go on to Bluetooth, you're going to see that your DualSense controller is connected to your PS5 via Bluetooth and not through a USB cable. Even though you might physically be connected through a cable, it is not how your controller is communicating with your PS5 right now. It's still using Bluetooth. So in order to change this, go back and head over to controller general settings and then navigate to communication method. And this is where you're going to select that you want your controller to communicate using a USB cable. And as soon as you select that, it's going to give you a feedback right here. And if you go back to Bluetooth devices, as you can see right here, it even shows you right here that you're connected using a USB cable. Now try playing Fortnite with this setting and just see the difference. Your game is going to feel a lot smoother and responsive, almost like you reduced your ping. Make sure to use this method and let me know if it works.